news some news that uh i missed wow while, while i was out okay did y'all hear about this tiktok i guess some people were like assuming some stuff earlier and then like some new news came out about it it was a tiktok star dies in a car crash after a police chase and then i heard afterwards that apparently he was smuggling people like he was smuggling people and yo okay look 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 TikTok star has died in a car crash after a police chase, according to Texas authorities. I saw a lot of comments saying they wanted to see the shoes I got. Gabriel Salazar was known by his more than 1 million followers as Gabe Not Babe. He shared videos of himself lip syncing and dancing through typical young adult situations. The Texas Highway Patrol says Salazar was driving with three other people in his white Chevy Camaro on September 26th. The Zavala County Sheriff's Office. I think it was reported that it was illegal aliens, bro. This says an officer from the Crystal City Police Department started pursuing the vehicle after trying to initiate a traffic stop. Officials say the car then drove off the road, hit some trees, rolled over, and became engulfed in flames, killing everyone in the vehicle. The three passengers have been identified as Mexican nationals. Salazar made his final TikTok post two days before his death. Hey, what? It came back what? Nah, something ain't not enough. His funeral was reportedly held September 29th. Tributes from fans and friends have been pouring in on social media. A GoFundMe account has been set up to help his family with funeral expenses. Damn. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. And this, I, I had seen something else uh, that there was another car crash. It was like this guy who literally just kidnapped some little girl, like some pedophile who just kidnapped some little girl. And then he crashed the car and died, but the little girl was good. Good news. Good news. Good news there. Good news there. Okay, back to some, back to some, uh, some bad news, okay? Um, this 19-year-old girl went missing, right? And then the person of interest who they wanted to contact was found dead just like the it sounds just like that other case bro but that nigga's still out there somewhere we y'all uh, know who we talking about what's, what's his name like brian or some shit like that yo she kind of looked like like raven bro family and friends are praying for the safe return of a missing 19 year old we love you you know our family is strong you know our family is big you know we will never sleep one night until we get you home Mia Marcano has not been seen since September 24th at the Damn. Central Florida apartment complex where she both lives and works. Her disappearance is suspicious and our detectives and the family members obviously suspect foul play. Mia's grandmother pleaded for anyone with information to please help them find her. Por favor, ayuda a encontrar a mi prince. Play TikToks of me lip syncing and doing TikTok dances. I'm not gonna lie, bruh. That would kind of suck. That would kind of suck if when I died, niggas play clips from my stream and I'm like reacting to Cardi B and I'm like, <laughs> like, yo, come on, man. They better, yo, y'all better, they better do me right, bruh. They better do me right or I'll, that that's gonna be fucked up, man. Like, don't do that shit to me, man. Do not do that shit to me, man. Especially if I if I made a TikTok that was purposely supposed to be cringe. That was purposely supposed to be cringe. And now I'm on fucking national news. Like, I'm the one I want. You the one I want. Mm. Niggas, I can't tell. That's that money talk. Mm. Drunker than a skunk. It go down in a... Mm. God, oh my God, I'm cringing at like just thinking about something that's not like, Jesus. Detectives identified a person of interest in Mia's disappearance. Nigga, look, 47. 7 year old Armando Manuel Caballero. Earlier today, Armando Caballero was found dead at an apartment complex in Seminole County. Suicide. It appears he has killed himself. Authorities say Caballero was employed at Mia's apartment complex. He had demonstrated a romantic interest in Mia. Uh, this was repeatedly she was rebuffed by Mia. 
Caballero's vehicle will be delivered to police for processing, as his death is investigated. What a fucking clown, bro. While the search for Mia Marcano continues, her family says they believe she will be found alive. See, now that's one of the, this is one of the people, because sometimes they be lying when they be saying this shit, and RIP to those people, but... This is the type of person I got a smile that literally lights up a room, bro. This is like a smile that lights up a room. They be saying that sometimes with people and they, and they, and they show a picture of them smiling and they be like, it's like, yo, y'all, sometimes y'all be stretching it. Her family says they believe she, literally she just, will be found it's a, it's alive. It's a bright smile. This family believes in God. We believe in hope and we have faith. This is Inside Edition Digital. Uh, chat. Uh, so today we just got news for this case. Um, everyone wanted this outcome to be different, especially the family and friends of Mia Marcano. Florida authorities say they believe they have found the missing 19 year old's body. And although uh, we are very certain of the identity, uh, the positive identification will have to come from the medical examiner's office. Mia Marcano had not been seen since September 24th at the Central Florida apartment complex where she both lived and worked. Mia missed a flight to see her family, which prompted them to report her missing. Police named one suspect, Armando Caballero, and he's one a of Mia's co-workers. A fucking coward, He had too. expressed romantic interest in Mia, which she reportedly turned down numerous times. So this nigga, this nigga did this, this nigga did this because he got rejected. He is 28 years old and got mad because he got rejected by a 19 year old. Caballero was found dead on September 30th with the sheriff's department saying it appears he has killed himself. The search for Mia was aided by mobile phone technology. We know it was him, bro. Cell phone records uh, showed us that Caballero was in or near the timber scan apartments on Friday evening between 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, that's the evening that she was reported missing. And he was there for about 20 minutes. Uh, nothing in the records indicate that he ever returned there uh, prior to killing himself. And now Mia's family waits to learn more about her final moments. At this time, we cannot identify a cause of death, so I don't want to speculate on that. I don't want to speculate either, but I'm just saying a lot of the dots are connecting, chat. A lot of the dots are connecting. Don't want to speculate, but... Come on now. Authorities say hundreds of people were involved in the search for Mia Marcano. They expressed their sympathy. Yeah, on behalf of the men and women in the Orange County Sheriff's Office, yeah, we offer our deepest condolences. Uh, I got family from states where one person was 27, one person was 18. It's not that bad. Wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about just them? They, I, it's not that. It's the, it's the whole situation. If you're, if you are dating, obviously, bro, if they're 18, they're legal. Obviously, okay? I always thought the argument of like, yo, you're 47. Why are you dating this 18 year old girl? Bro, nigga 47, bro. A nigga trying to get some, like, some pussy, bro. Like, niggas, old niggas want, want fucking 18 year old pussy. It is what it is. The shit's legal. But this is what's weird about it is if you get mad at that they reject you, you're a grown, you're an old ass man at that point, bro. You're an old ass man at that point, and you're mad because you got rejected. Like, nigga, what? It's still weird. This is the thing. You can say it's still weird all you want, it's legal. No one gives a fuck what you find weird, my nigga. It doesn't matter. Uh, niggas can, it's still legal. To, it, once you're 18, you are officially an adult. It's the fucking law. Nobody cares that, oh, well, this is wrong. This is, did it. Shut the fuck, nobody fucking cares, bro. Nobody fucking cares. Be the president or, and change, the, change the, the, uh, the rules about it. I'm not about to sit here and argue like the, the, uh, the age dating thing. Cause like, there always be gaps, bro. There always be like big ass gaps, especially when you, when niggas be older and shit like that. But 
That's not that's not what I'm arguing. That's not even the case. So for you to even say that was irrelevant. I'm talking about being 28 and you get rejected by a 19 year old. And that really hurts your feelings to where you needed to do this. That is fucking weird. That is weird as fuck. That's just something that's just something wrong with you, bro. Uh, but yeah, as far as like the dating like 18 and if, if a nigga's like 37 or if a bitch is 37 and she dates an 18 year old like bro, that's their choice and they're in their legal right to do so. So you could be like, yo, that's weird. Nobody fucking asked you. Like, don't pay attention to their relationship. If their relationship is not impeding on you, why the fuck do you care? Like, I never, I really never understood that shit. Like, niggas try to be like, uh, if that's really predatorial or some shit like that. It's, it, it, it's literally legal. It's just a huge age gap. Niggas be 67 getting 19 year old. Bro, wasn't Hugh Hefner doing that shit? And everybody was like, yeah, he that nigga. That's that nigga. Big Hef, Hugh Hef in his robe with young bitches on him. Legal though. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Nobody cares what you think is weird. Bitch. Sorry. To me, his parents or family. Literally, like, it's no relation to me. Like, it's literally. It's like it's not like I'm like fucking dating a 19 year old or or, or a 18 year old. It's just I don't care who is though. So like I don't let it affect me. But I always see arguments, especially like on the shade room and shit like that, or bitches in general be talking shit about shit like that. Um, why is this grown man uh searching for like this younger? Cause that's what he likes, younger women of legal age. Legal. That's the word there. That legal, legal. Legal. I don't know if you guys that, that, that that's a crazy word, which means it's allowed and maybe like frowned upon by some people. Some people may look at it and be like, what? That's disgusting. Other people may be like, damn, my nigga. Shit, good. Good shit on you. I hope you know why she there, though. She getting your money, bro. You th you you 67, Robert. You 67, Robert. And you plowing a 19 year old and you think she there for your looks. Hey, as long as you OK, man. <laughs> As long as you good, she good. Our loved ones. This is Inside Edition Digital. Damn, bruh. Why the sad instrumental? Like, we, this shit, the title alone is already sad. Another thing. Another case, bruh. 24-year-old geologist missing in Arizona. Desert since June, bruh. What the fuck? I had to uh, keep my, uh, my dad's hat on, but at the same time, you know, I got... Only right I donate. Love from Scotland, bro, blue heart. Shout out to Scotland. And uh, <laughs> pretty sure this is your first stream. It's like, yo, what the fuck is going on here, bro? Put my uh, search head on and uh, go out there and find my son. Yo, chat, oh, hold on real quick. Because it's, it it's kind of the same thing like this. Like when someone's, if someone's like 27 and they're dating like a 19 year old, if they're 47 and dating a 19 year old. Maybe that's their preference, and, like, maybe that's the younger person's preference, too. Like, a 19-year-old wants to date an older person. Like, you know, they got cougars and whatever the fuck they call older, older, older dudes. But it's like when people like slimmer girls. Are you now going to call that person? Wow, that's kind of weird. That's kind of, like, fat shaming. It's kind of weird how you only like slimmer girls. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. It's like, bro, that's, that's their preference. That's what, they, that's what they like. Or if they want a bigger girl. Or if they want a darker girl. Or if they want a lighter girl. Or if they only want to date a white girl. Is it racist? Why are you mad? It's not the same thing. This is my thing. Why do you care? Stop talking about it. No, I'm going to keep talking about it. Because I want to know why y'all care so much. Why do you care? What, why, why does it affect you? Why does it affect you? Tell me right now. Tell me why, is it, why does it affect you? Why does it affect you? Tell me why does it affect you? Whether it's not the same or not, shut the fuck up. Answer the question. Why does it affect you? Let me know how it affects you. Let me know why it affects you. I want to know why it affects you. Don't tell me to wrap it up. It's crazy how when I make a point, it's crazy how when I wake, make a point, now you want to wrap it up. It's crazy how when I make a point, now you want to wrap it, wrap it up. Talk about it. What about a 47-year-old man or a 47-year-old bitch dating a younger nigga? Get you so mad of legal age. Get you so mad. Talk about it. I want to know. I'm, I'm looking at the chat. I'm, a, I don't wanna, I'm not looking at nothing else that says move on or talk about this or wrap it up. I'm waiting for a nigga to say something. And if not, you can suck my dick because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You just mad to be mad. I'm waiting. Morality? Shut your bitch ass up. Moral morality? 
Nigga, how many times have you not paid to fucking feed the kids, nigga? Because you don't want the little five extra cents to come off your fucking bank account. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up about some morals, you dumbass, nigga. Huh? You're watching my stream for free. Where's your morals on fucking subbing to me, my nigga? You don't think I got bills to pay? Huh? Where's your morality then, nigga? What? Huh? Y'all niggas pull shit out your ass, bruh. You pull shit out your ass. Next. Some, somebody else, man. I like shit like this. Because of the age gap. Is that it? So is that is that it? Is that is that your only is that your only is that your only re reason? Because of the age gap? You don't like the age gap? Is that what it is? Is that it? Is that is that is that the only reason? Oh, so it's because you don't like it. Nobody gives a fuck about you, bro. We we don't give a fuck about you. If we went by how you dictated things, bro, we wouldn't have a lot of shit. A lot of shit wouldn't be happening, bro. I'm pretty sure there's a certain brand of Pop-Tarts you don't like, man. Should they stop just shipping them out and shit because you don't like it and you find it disgusting? How about dark comedy or these, these comedians with very dark sense of humor? Should they all be just banned off stage because it makes you feel uncomfortable about the things that they're talking about, bruh? Because you don't like it. It's very off-putting to you. You just can't wrap your head around how they could be feel comfortable telling these jokes in front of people. Should we, should we just all, should we just do that for everything? Should we just do that for everything? I'm just trying to get it in your head. Like, nobody, like, why the fuck do you care about somebody doing something that is with le legally? Because, like, some of y'all be taking it into different levels, bro. I'm talking about legally. Ain't nobody talking about no child shit. Obviously, that's weird. But I'm talking about, like, legal shit. Why do you get it to affect you so much where you go on rants on Twitter? Underscore T on the shade room. I donated $5. I'm sorry, them bitches really I pissed me off. I personally don't care, but my thing is it's cool to have a preference, but don't slander the people you don't want. For example, I like light skins because darker girls... What the fuck were you about to say? What the fuck were you about to say? Oh my gosh. Oh, he said... Oh. Mallow B donated five dollars. Thanks for speaking the truth. Take my money. Those poor child that need the donation can stay starving though. He said, he said, I like light skinned girls because darker girls are ugly. Oh wait, hold on. I think this is an example. Oh. Oh yeah, he said, for example, I like light skinned girls because darker girls are ugly. Uh, oh. He said that's uncalled for. Just say oh. your preference and go. Oh shit! <laughs> I thought the same thing. Nook underscore Nook twenty three donated same five thing. dollars. I never understood the double standard that if an older man dates a nineteen year old woman, it's pedo, but if a sixty year old woman is attracted to a nineteen year old, get your man, bags, it's accepted. Sis. Get your bags. That's what they say. Get your bags, sis. I'm trying to be like her. Well, y'all are. I'm trying to be like her. Huh? It's crazy how like if if you go to college and we're talking college legal shit legal we're talking college if you date your if you uh, fuck your college teacher and shit like that you in there and she's a she's a girl you in there like yo bro good shit oh fuck and then when we see her on the news uh we be uh niggas be like damn I would have done the same thing if she was bad and she's in the news but if it's a dude yo weird I'm getting very predator vibes that's weird and then we see his mugshot and be like damn homie's down bad. Yo! Come on, bruh! Look, I say all the, the only reason why I really wanted to talk about this is because of like certain posts I see in the comments about it. And this is like the best time I could talk about it. I am a girl, L M F A O O O I M. Sorry, Queen. It's an example, L M F A O O O O A O A O A O. We both missed the for example part. We just heard the for example. We just heard light skins. I like. I prefer light skins because black girls blink. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Okay, all right, chat, we're gonna move on, okay? We're gonna move on. Date who you wanna date as long as the shit's legal, all right? Don't worry about what age they are. If you if you wanna be with them, you might wanna think about that shit though, bruh, okay? Cause some, you know, some, some, some bitches and some niggas are different around different ages, bruh. Um, if you like, if you like 18, 19, 20, and you dating a, a girl that's like 47, um, <clears throat> 
just know that she's probably trying to have kids and she's probably trying to get married. She's trying to lock that shit the fuck down. Okay. Uh, and if you're a, if you're 18, 19 year old girl dating a, a nigga who's like 57, that nigga just trying to fuck. But it seemed like he probably willing to give you whatever type of money he want for that shit. Cause like, I don't know, niggas, old niggas be, <laughs> old niggas be kind of weird, man. Since June, David Robinson has been hoping for news about his 24 year old son's whereabouts. Daniel Robinson- Crazy how though it's different with different sexes. Like once, we, talk, once we talked about the older Noah girl dating the younger dude, everybody was like, you know. I wouldn't care, it doesn't affect me. It, it affects everybody else, man. But it's weird though, but the age gap. Sin <clears throat> is a geologist who was last seen leaving his work site in the Arizona Night desert on June 23, 2021. Like, Mr. Daddy Robinson home. hired Man a private legend. investigator and left his South Carolina home to be present in Arizona during Wait, which movie was that? the search for Daniel, never thinking their family would still need answers three months later. In July, Daniel's Jeep was found two miles away from the work site, but with no trace of Daniel. Authorities say they have searched a 70 square mile area. What the fuck? This is why I would never go to the desert. Area for Daniel Robinson, but his father says it's not enough. Daniel's the kind of guy that brings people together. So, uh, of course, people would like to be around him. Even in his disappearance. Why did it take so long? No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. Parents, Daniel is bringing people together. Co workers, friends, and strangers have shown up week after week to search for him. Now, you know, it's a lot of people, but I try to shake hands because, um, you know, I just want people to know how grateful I am for the community. And while Gabby Petito's I really hope, disappearance I, I hope. made international headlines and be... Daniels has not, Mr. Robinson is full of compassion for what the Petito family is experiencing. Of course, um, that was devastating just to hear another family's going through the same thing I was around at, at the same time I was going through. And uh, when I found out she was uh, my son's age, you know, just reading, that's like horrible, you know, so that was a horrible thing, you know, and I, I already know what the family's going through. My family knows what the family's going through, and I don't Res wish it on anybody. Respect to him. Robinson says <clears throat> this experience has... Yo, respect to him, because a lot of people... I don't know, a lot of people could have went a weird way with that. ...turned him into an activist for the families of missing persons. I run the families all the time that... Uh, email me and text me and tell me their story and um, you know you just be amazed uh, the pain that people go through and Daniel Robinson is five foot eight inches tall and about 155 pounds he was born without a right hand which his father says made him even more determined to succeed he wanted to play the French horn he taught himself to play the French horn Please find uh, him. He wanted to play football. He played football. So Daniel did everything he wanted to do and, and Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like on the thumbnail, he he looked like B. Lou. Like it was one of these pictures on the thumbnail. He really looked like B. Lou. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Is it, he look like like B. Lou, bro? Right in this picture here, he looked like B. Lou. But he uh, never take no for an answer. While his life has been publicly reduced to facts about his disappearance, mm. Daniel Robinson has parents, an older brother, a twin Bro, but sister, two parents, and countless friends who desperately want to find him. <clears throat> he's a scientist. Uh, he worked hard for what he got, and, uh, and and he's out there somewhere. And I need some help um, in finding him. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm T C Newman. I feel like he's. I feel like he's still alive. And when we find him, we're going to get a fucking movie. Come on. Like, he has one he has one arm and he survived. He beat the odds. In the desert, though? Like, dude. Fucking all these fucking cases and videos and stories of these people going missing. And, yo, guess what? Uh, the neighbor. And I I knew this was going to happen, bro. I knew sooner or later the neighbor that lived next to this, the, the Brian dude, was going to get irritated, bro. Neighbor freaks out at Brian Laundry's protesters, bro. Ugly scenes as tempers flare outside the home of Brian Laundry's parents. Come on, my property! I can't go on your property. I'm gonna take your to prison, buddy. Okay. You're going to prison. You're going to prison. Call 911. You're going to prison. Call 911. You're going. I hate. I really hate people like that. I, I really hate people like that. Laundry home has been under siege since Gabby Petito's homicide and Brian's disappearance. Come out. Oh, uh, that shit would be a, that shit would be fucking annoying. I understand we trying to find 
that, how is this going to help, help find this man? If anything, you're alerting him if he does try to sneak back into his house that, oh, niggas are still looking here. Bet. Thanks for the fucking alarm system and letting me know. But imagine you got fucking work in the morning. Shut the fuck up! Damn, nigga! If this nigga ain't coming out for the FBI, my nigga, what makes him think he gonna come out to a nigga on a megaphone? Like, he's gonna be like, oh, fuck a megaphone? You got me, man. That shit just pissed me the fuck off. Because they feel like they really are doing something. Like, they have so much power to just do that. Like, the guy's gonna come up with his hands up. Holy shit. I dodged the FBI, man. I dodged the parents. I dodged everything. But that fucking megaphone on max volume. And when you told me we're going to find you. Really had me fucking shaking in my boots, bruh. The whole street on edge. And it finally reached the boiling point. I don't blame him. One neighbor had a meltdown. I don't blame using him. A protester. If he would have punched this nigga in the face. And then he needed bail, bro. I would have paid that shit. No cap. Of trespassing. <laughs> Look at him, pussy. He's, he jumped. Look how he jumped. Look how he jumped. Neighbor had a meltdown, accusing a protester of trespassing. <laughs> Niggas a bitch. And you expect, and you expect to find, and you, what do you expect to do when this, uh, killer, confronts you? You're gonna be the one to arrest him. You're scared of this guy. Shut the fuck. Up. He was charged with battery and simple assault. Meanwhile, the search for laundry appears stalled. What's his How name? has he evaded the FBI for so long? I spoke with former U.S. Marshal Lenny DePaul. Right now, law enforcement is chasing a ghost. I mean, this guy, Brian Laundry, he's completely off the grid. He's gone dark. He's certainly sleeping with one eye open. If you were in charge, where would be the first place you'd go? You got to know everything about the fugitive, his habits, how he gets up in the morning, what he wears, does he smoke. You got you to gotta put yourself inside his head. I will do it myself. You got to think he's probably changed his appearance. Don't worry, bro. I'm on the way, man. You know, he can alter his appearance. He can pour acid on his fingertips. It doesn't matter. Do y'all really? I, I don't know. I think we're giving this nigga too much credit. Like, that's like some movie type shit. I, I don't think he's even going to be doing all that, man. I think the most that he did that we've seen from movies is get a black cap and he always wears it down like this. I mean, you know, somebody's going to, hopefully the, the, the public remains vigilant. They see him, they say something. He's out of place, no matter where he is. One intriguing new clue. The very day Brian Laundrie disappeared, he and an older woman bought a new phone at an AT&T. Someone said, bro, not Jason Bourne. <laughs> exactly. He store near his home. Now we're told the FBI has surveillance video of that transaction. And Brian's lawyer tells us the FBI also has that phone he purchased. Show it! Wait, wait! Oh, they're probably not allowed to show it? Hmm. Yeah, isn't, like, showing things like that, doesn't it kind of hurt us? Because doesn't that really help him? Well, doesn't all of this really help him? Doesn't it let him know how much we know, what he needs to change, where he needs to go, where they're looking, where they're covering... If he has access to, like, the internet, if he's still able to look at this shit, it's really helping his case. <gasps> Ooh, yo, y'all want to see something creepy? That's kind of cool that I would like, I would want to see. A creepy sculpture of a drowning girl appears in a river. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. People in the city of Bilbao recently woke up to a disturbing... What the fuck? Ryan underscore R8202 donated $5. Crazy how Dog the Bounty Hunter is finding more evidence on this guy than the FBI. Who is this nigga though? Because he really do be snooping around. Big sight. Ain't he a tampering? sculpture in the River Nervion depicting a young girl, eyes wide open, who appears to be drowning. To the surprise of many, the 264 pound fiberglass statue was placed in the water in the middle of the night. Its chilling expression greeted curious onlookers in the morning. Why though? As the tides of the river rise and fall, more or less of its haunting face is revealed. Why is this a thing, bruh? It's the work of a Mexican artist named Ruben Orozco. Titled Bihar, which means tomorrow in Basque, the work of art is meant to provoke conversations about sustainability and climate change. The artist told a Spanish news outlet that he wants people to consider how, quote, their actions can sink us or keep us afloat. 
This is Inside Edition Digital. Hold on. Hold on. Now that's that's kind of dope. That's really dope. It is October. Huh? Tell me you don't remind you of that show. What? Oh, the the love uh love sex robots. Yeah. That's the yeah. It do remind me of that. Like that look too. It got that that vacant express that vacant expression. That's W art though. Like the art and the um, like the meaning of it too. I'm not gonna lie yo though, but but Halloween for me like this whole month, I don't care. I I really don't care for it, man. I think uh I got uh Ricky hit me up and was like. What am I doing for Halloween? I was like, oh, no, he's like, what are you doing for this month? I was like, for what? He's like, for Halloween. It's like, nigga, what? Like, like I'm going to go trick-or-treating, bro. <laughs> like, what you think I'm going to do, bro? I'm going to be streaming, man. <laughs> I'm going to be streaming, bro. I, you know what I think, though? 